Hey hi welcome back to the series of cyber security sessions i am toto krishna hema your automotive quality assurance expert so in this video we are going to discuss about the traceability in automotive cyber security and how different it is from the existing v model automotive v model so this is the overview of iso 21448 2021 so in this thing like we will have 15 clauses in that like you know 5 to 15 clauses that means 10 clauses are very crucial clauses and in that the most important things are six clauses it covers from 9 to 14 which covers from the concept phase to the decommissioning phase concept is completely like you know the ideation so it is in your thoughts kind of okay we will put everything in the in paper like you know in terms of item item definition cyber security goal cyber security concept these all things will come in the clause 9 and you know decommissioning is something like you know we will dismantle the product dismantle the complete product and we will you know uh, erase everything and we will ensure like you know there is no threat uh, or you know no vulnerability uh, even after decommissioning so it's like you know the each and every car will deal with personal data of the um user so those all things like need to be erased first okay it should be reset it first before decommissioning happens so we need to take care of the cyber security activities even in the phase of decommissioning as well in the previous slide we have discussed about 15 clauses and 15 clauses will have in turn 37 sub clauses and 42 work product requirements work products so to cover the entire iso 21434 standard so in general in v model like we will have uh, bi direction we need to ensure on bi directional traceability between uh, so many things i'm not discussing anything about the v model and you know in addition to the regular v model like we need to we also need to ensure on these all aspects in case of cyber security so what we need to ensure on is like you know first thing we will have as an input to all the system is system architecture it will have security and non security um, requirements to be covered in the system architecture so it's like you know in simple words i can say like you know system architecture is a whole and soul of the product and you know from the system architecture we need to identify the assets we need to conduct tara we need to you know uh, derive the cyber security goals and from cyber security goals like we need to derive the test cases for gray box te pen testing fuzzing and you know robustness test we need to conduct as an output for the cyber security goals the results of the cyber secu results of this testing which should get traceable to the cyber security goals and these cyber security goals will be an input for the functional architecture and the functional architecture uh, from the functional architecture we will have functional security requirements uh, to be it will it will get derived right so we need to ensure on the traceability between these two and also from the functional security requirements we will we will derive the functional test cases and also the security test cases and both and uh, you know we need to execute this and the results of this functional testing also the security testing should get be traceable to the functional security requirements this functional security requirements will be and lack as input for the hardware architecture and also the software architecture hardware architecture will be will act as an input for the hardware technical security requirements and from that like we need to conduct uh, the unit testing so unit test cases will get derived from the hardware technical security requirements so software architecture will have software technical security requirements in place and we will have unit testing and associated static code analysis things will should get traceable to software technical security requirements i came to the end of this concept like if you like this video please click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you